Hi, this is Krista at the Secret Yarnery. Well, just outside the Secret Yarnery. Today, we're making this global foxtrot shawl. I love it. I love the pattern. I love the size of it. This is with one pack of Ice Yarn Rosetta Worsted. You can use, of course, any yarn you want at all. I did use other yarn from my Yarnscape to finish it off, but I'll show you that in the video. What is so great about this pattern is the stitches, you can't really tell at a distance which way you started it. Did you start it the long way, like horizontal or vertical, because of the little globes? So I really like that. It's handy for yarn that has a long color change. Then you could just do it the long way and have very skinny stripes going up and down. But I also like it with a shorter color change like this. It would also be great in just a solid color. Really nice, and I just love how that border, the foxtrot, gives a little, you know, a little flow, a little movement. So this is what we're making today. Can't wait. I'll be using four balls, or one pack, of this Rosetta Worsted from Ice Yarns. There is a link to it in the description box below. Super great yarn. It is 30% wool and 70% acrylic, and it's a size four medium. You can, of course, do this pattern with any yarn that you have handy at all. It's just anything worsted weight. And for the border, I'm going to be using this silk cotton that I have and also this cotton bamboo light. So that is going to be for the border when we get there. We'll also be using a six millimeter crochet hook and a whole bunch of stitch markers and, of course, a pair of scissors and a darning needle. So to start, we're going to make a slip knot just any which way you normally do. Shrink it down and put it onto your hook. And chain two. One, two. You can count your chains. You don't count what's on your hook and you don't count the knot. You just count these V's in between or just one loop of the V if it's easier for you to see. So we're gonna be going into this very first chain we made. We wanna get two loops of that stitch on our hook two strands of yarn from that very first chain. So I'm going to go into kind of the bottom half and just kind of poke with my finger two strands of that stitch onto to the top of my hook, grab my yarn and bring it back, pull it up a bit. I want it to be a bit loose at the same tension as the loop that's already on my hook. Wrap your yarn and chain one. So just take off one loop. That is our very first chain. And we're going to just pinch that open. You want to have two loops behind your, or underneath your thumb, and one loop in front. So there's two loops behind and one in front. I'm just going to put my thumbnail down onto my finger to hold that open. Now do your single, single crochet, so just wrap your yarn and take off two. Put your hook back down right to where you're holding it open. Slide those two loops onto your hook. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Pull your hook up to get that loop a bit loose, and chain one. So wrap your yarn and bring it through one loop. So we're just doing our chain and our single crochet at the same time. And again, separate that chain that you just made, one loop in front of your thumb, and then do your single crochet. So wrap your yarn and take off two. This is what it looks like in slow motion.
So keep going making this chainless single crochet foundation all the way along. Just remember to keep track of your chain so you know where to go in and make that chain a little loose by pulling up your hook. So go into where you're holding it open, two loops of the chain on your hook, grab your yarn and bring it back, pull your hook up, wrap your yarn and take off one, pinch, wrap your yarn and take off two. Go into where you're holding it open, grab your yarn and bring it back, pull your hook up, wrap your yarn and take off one, pinch, wrap your yarn and take off two. So just keep doing that all the way along until your shawl is the width that you would like it to be. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna be making a narrow one just to get you started. So now we're gonna to wanna to put in some stitch markers. So starting from our slip knot, the very beginning, on the side where the slip knot is, that's the bottom, that's our chain. So we wanna flip it up so our knot is closest to us and our V's are away from us, they're at the top. We're gonna to be counting our V's. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I have eight of these posts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, before where I'm gonna mark. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So into the eighth chain. So I'm gonna put it right after the eighth post, tip it up and you'll see that V right here. I'm gonna go under that one. So I'm marking the eighth stitch. So we're starting with eight stitches, not counting the stitch with the stitch marker. Look where it's coming from and just kind of pinch it off so you don't look at it because that's how I do it. And then count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Right there. And how I count mine, I just look at one side and I look for these loops. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we're gonna put another stitch marker into the seventh. So now go along your entire uh, chain, your entire row, putting a stitch marker into the seventh chain or every seventh chain going along. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm gonna put a stitch marker in this one here. And now we want eight stitches in this last section. So I'm gonna look where my stitch marker is and pinch off that stitch so I don't look at it. And then count my V's going towards my hook. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to make two more stitches and my single crochet. So now that should be eight, not counting my stitch marker stitch. Chain three, and this is gonna be how you're turning every single row for the entire uh, shawl. So chain three, one, two, three, turn your work. And now this is the very first stitch. We're gonna skip that one. That, our chain three counts as a double crochet coming out of the very first stitch. We're gonna go into the second stitch right here and start our pattern. So wrap your yarn and make three double crochets into the second stitch. So grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two wrap your yarn and take off two. This is what double crochet looks like in slow motion. starting our rows with a chain three and three double crochets into the second stitch. Chain two, one and two. And this is why our stitch markers are so great. We're just going to skip six stitches and go into the seventh stitch. So if you count your stitches, there is one, two, three, four, five, and six. And where our stitch marker is, that is our seventh stitch. So because we counted and put in our stitch markers, we don't have to worry about that now. We can just wrap our yarn and go into where our stitch marker is, the same stitch, 
two loops of that stitch on your hook, two loops of the V, wrap your yarn and bring it back, and wrap your yarn and take off two, wrap your yarn and take off two. So now into every spot where there's a stitch marker, we're gonna be doing a shell. Shells are three double crochets, so I've done one, this is my second, here's my third. So there's three double crochets, a chain one in the very middle, and three more double crochets into the same stitch, right where that stitch marker is. You can take your stitch marker out, they don't have to stay there anymore. But I'm just gonna leave it in so you can see where I'm going into. All those stitches are into the same stitch. And that is a shell, that's the shell for the entire shawl. You're gonna be doing this the whole way. Always start in the same shells, exactly the same the whole way. Now chain two, one and two, that just gets you enough space to get over to your next stitch marker. And into your next stitch marker, you're gonna do another shell, which is three double crochets, chain one, and three double crochets. So there's my three double crochets, chain one, and three double crochets, all into the same stitch, right where we are. We did our, right where we put our stitch marker. Every seventh stitch, every seventh stitch. So it's going to look like this, working all the way along your row. Chain two to get to your next stitch marker. Wrap your yarn and make another shell into where your stitch marker is. Three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet. So keep working like this all the way along your row until you are at your last section. When you reach the end of your row, chain two like normal. So into the second stitch back. So here is our first stitch. There is our second stitch. Into the second stitch, we are going to make three double crochets. So wrap your yarn, go underneath that V, two loops on your hook, and make three double crochets. One. two, and three. And now into the last stitch, we'll make one double crochet. Just like, like that. So that is how we're gonna end every row. So we're gonna start again, just like we did in the last row. Chain three, one, two, and three. Turn your work. You're going to skip the very first stitch. Our chain three counts as a double crochet coming from the very first stitch. We're going to go into the second stitch. So if you're looking at it from the front, you can see there is double crochet here. And your second, your third, and your fourth, you're going into the second double crochet. So you can just line up your needle and poke it. That is your second stitch. Or you can tip it up so you see your V's. There's your first V, and here's your second V. It just depends on how you are looking at it. So I'm gonna wrap my yarn and go into the second stitch and make three double crochets into the second stitch. There's two, and here's three. And we're gonna do the exact same row as we did down below. So chain two, one, two, and that gets us to our next shell. Now we're gonna be working into the chain one at the top of our shells, just into the chain one space in the middle. So three double crochets on each side. We're gonna be doing another shell. So into the center of that shell, three double crochets, chain one and three double crochets. Just like that. Chain two into your next shell make another shell and repeat all the way along this row. So just pause the video and do a shell, chain two, shell, chain two, all the way along and I'll meet you at the end of this row. When you get to the end of your row, chain two like usual, wrap your yarn and now into the last real double crochet, not counting our chain, we're gonna go right into that stitch. Into the top of our last double crochet, and we're gonna do our three double crochets. So wrap your yarn into the top of the last double crochet. Three double crochets, so it's like half of a shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
2 and 3. And now we're going to make our last double crochet right into the top of this chain. So sometimes it gets really small like this. It's just right there. It's a little tiny knot. Sometimes it stays open, but if there's a little tiny thing right after your stitch, that is where you want to go in. It's the top of the chain three. We're going to make one double crochet into that stitch. So I'm just going to push my hook in, use my fingers to get my hook in there and make one double crochet. So this is going to give our shawl a nice straight edge and that is exactly what we want. Chain three, like we always do to turn. One, two, three. Turn your work and into the second stitch, so not the first one, we're going to go into the second stitch and make three double crochets. So wrap your yarn into the second stitch, three double crochets. And this is the same for every single row Nothing changes at all for the start and finish for this pattern. There's our three double crochets. Now this is the only difference in this pattern and it's a super fun part. I really, it's like my favorite row. So instead of doing a chain two, we're going to chain one, single crochet and chain one. So chain one, we're going to single crochet around both of these chains. So this is when we kind of turn them into eggs. Put your hook down underneath both of those chains and grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So we're doing a single crochet around those chains. Chain one and make a shell into the next shell. And I'm not looking at it now. I'm not, not going to show it to you right now because it's going to look weird and it won't pull, it won't sit straight. So get ahead a little bit and then go and inspect what you did because it'll look funny if you just look right away. You'll think you did something wrong and you didn't. So there's our next shell. And now you can go back and see that you've pinched it down into a cute little egg. So chain one and we're going to do that again. So put your hook underneath both of these chains. Grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two. So there's our single crochet. Chain one and build your next shell. So we're doing the exact same thing for in the pattern, except we're pinching it together. That's the only difference of this round. So finish this shell there. So that's our very first nice circle. And now we're going to turn the next one into the same shape. So chain one, single crochet around the chains, chain one and build your shell. Three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. Chain one, go underneath your two chains down below and make one single crochet to pinch them together. Chain one, and now we're going to finish our row by making three double crochets into the last real double crochet, so that's right here. And a double crochet into the first chain. So wrap your yarn, three double crochets into the last real stitch. One, two, and three. And now into the chain, we're going to make our last double crochet. So it's kind of this small one right after our stitch. I'm just going to wrap my yarn and go in there. I want two loops on my hook, but it doesn't bother me which loops they are my last double crochet. So that's my nice straight edge and half of an egg on the end of your row. Chain three, one, two, three. Turn your work and now we're going to work all the way back along this row doing the first row that we did. So we always start the same way. Three double crochets into the second stitch. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, and now just jump across and do a shell. So wrap your yarn and shell into the first shell down below, the top of that egg. Three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets. So it looks like this. Chain two to get to your next egg and shell in the top. Chain two to get to your next egg. Keep going like this all the way across. Turn and come back doing the exact same thing. When you have two 
uh, chains stacked on top of each other for your third row, you will do your eggs. You'll do a chain one and single crochet around to join. So that's all you're doing for the pattern. It works up super quick. So keep going and I'll meet you when it is as large as you want it to be. So I've made my shawl as long as I can with my four balls of yarn. And we are going to stop after our row of doing the globe. So pinching them together. So we do the chain one, single crochet, and chain one. That is our last row of the pattern. So when your shawl is as long as you want it to be, or you have finished your yarn, or you've almost finished your yarn, chain one and turn your work. And now we're going to single crochet into the very first stitch. So we're not skipping any stitches. We're going to do a single crochet into the very first stitch. So push your hook in and make one single crochet. So grab your yarn and bring it back. Wrap your yarn and take off two loops. Now chain six. Single crochet into the top of the next globe and chain six again. So we're just building these loops in between our globes. Chain six, single crochet into the top of the next globe. So keep going along, making this nice little bridge along the top of your shawl, and I'll meet you at the end of the row. At the end of the row, we're gonna make two single crochets. So into the top of our last double crochet and into the chain. So into the double crochet, one single crochet. We just want a nice edge on our shawl. And into the first chain, or the top of the chain three, single crochet. So that is the end of our shawl, two single crochets. Chain one, and turn your work. Single crochet into each of these first two stitches. So there's your first single crochet, and here is your second. And now one into each chain going across. If you just look on one side of your chain, I just look for these bottom loops. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We wanna do one single crochet into each chain going back to our next globe. So there's my six single crochet. And into the next stitch, one single crochet. And then six into the chain along the way. So every chain gets a single crochet, and the single crochets also get a single crochet. So it'll look like this. Keep going all the way along, and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row, work into your last stitch and also into your chain. You want to end with two single crochets into stitches on this end, just to keep your edge nice and straight. Chain one, cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. We'll have to sew this in with a needle later, so just ignore it from now on, and turn your work. Get your next yarn. I'm going to be using this silk cotton from Ice Yarns. You can use any yarn at all that you have. Anything that matches any of the colors in the yarn that you're using, if you're using a, a variegated yarn or a self-striping yarn. So to join your new yarn, I'm going to go straight into that very first stitch, two loops on my hook, like that. Put a loop of yarn on your hook, about five inch tail. Grab your yarn, bring it through, and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail and chain one. Now into this very same stitch, I'm gonna be making one single crochet. So just one single crochet into that stitch. And now we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip over to where our next single crochet is that connects our globe underneath. And put your hook in. Grab your yarn and bring it back and make one single crochet, just like that. Chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Skip six. If you want to count your stitches, you totally can. Or you just go straight on top of where we connected our globe, just right there, and single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
skip over into the next stitch on top that connects our globe or skipping six and into the seventh one single crochet so we're just making these nice little spaces so we're just going along building some spaces to work into for our next row so chain chain six skip six and single crochet we're going to be single crocheting into the same stitch where we attached our globe down below one two three four five six single crochet to join keep doing this all the way along this row and i'll meet you at the end at the end of our row we're going to make our single crochet into the very last stitch the one right on the corner we're just going to pin it down straight at the edge so push your hook in bring your yarn back and single crochet chain four one two three four and turn your work now into each of these spaces we are going to be making treble crochets so wrap your yarn twice go into the big space grab your yarn and bring it back wrap your yarn and take off two wrap your yarn and take off two wrap your yarn and take off two so that is a treble crochet and we're going to do that four times so three more times into this big space this is our second treble crochet third and fourth chain two one and two and four more treble crochets into the same space so that is what our shell looks like so far four treble crochets chain two and four treble crochets we're going to be doing that into every single space working along the bottom of our shawl we're not going to do anything to jump in between the spaces we're just going to go from our last treble crochet we're going to wrap our yarn twice and jump straight into the next space and make four treble crochets chain two and four treble crochets nothing in between we're just jumping from treble to treble in between the spaces and just keep going like this all the way along the bottom of your shawl and i'll meet you at the end of this row i finished my four treble crochets chain two four treble crochets now i'm going to make a treble crochet just to pin it down right at the very edge so just into my very first single crochet down below i will make a treble crochet just right there just to keep a nice edge on our shawl so there is our last stitch now we're going to chain five one two three four five turn your work chain six one two three four five six so our first three counts as a double crochet and the last three count as a chain three and turn your work now we're going to be working into this chain two spaces and also between our shells so we're just working into these spots into the chain two space double crochet so one double crochet and chain 15 15 so that is a double crochet with a chain 15 on top hold that on your hook wrap your yarn and one more double crochet into the chain two space like that and chain 15 again 15 hold that on your hook get back down to your chain two space wrap your yarn double crochet into the same chain two space like that and we want to do that again we want to chain 15 hold that on your hook back down into your chain two space wrap your yarn and double crochet there we go so this is what we're building in those chain two spaces four double crochets with a chain 15 on top so we're having three chain 15s and now chain three one two and three now in between the space between these shells so right on top of where our single crochet was down below we're going to make one double crochet so wrap your yarn and go into that space just between those sets of shells and make one double crochet chain three one two three 
and into the next chain two space we're going to do the same thing of double crochets with chain 15s on top so wrap your yarn and make one double crochet into the chain two space like that and chain 15. hold that chain on your hook wrap your yarn and into the chain two space double crochet and chain 15 again. Hold that chain on your hook, just hold the loop, wrap your yarn and double crochet into the same chain two space. And so we've done two chain 15 so far. Every chain two spot needs three of these little tabs at the top, so we have to do that one more time. So chain 15. Hold it on your hook, wrap your yarn and into the same chain two space, double crochet. So now we have three chain 15s coming from that spot. Chain three, one, two, three. And we want to double crochet right into the space between those sets. So hold that loop on your finger, wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the center space just like that. So this is what we are doing. This is how, what it looks like so far. Double crochet in between and then into the chain two spot. We're building these little tabs, these little fingers. So it looks funny right now, but it's gonna be awesome in the next round. So keep going like this all the way along, doing, dub, doing a double crochet with a chain 15 three times. Double crochet to join it down. Chain three, double crochet into the space between our sets of trebles from the row below. Chain three, double crochet into the space with a chain 15 above until you have three chain 15s pinned down into the same spot. Chain three, double crochet in between the sets and keep going like that all the way along your row. I'll meet you at the end. End of the row, I have done my three loops, my three little tabs hanging off, chain three, one, two, three, and I'm going to double crochet right into, not our treble crochet, so not the actual stitch. I'm going to go into the little chain right to the side. We want to skip over the four trebles, just like we were in the rest of this row. So wrap your yarn and just push it into that chain. You want two loops of that chain on your hook, on the top part of your hook, and double crochet. So that keeps our nice edge of our shawl. Now we're going to chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and turn your work. Now we're going to be working into our loops for the next row into the very first chain 15 loop. We're going to be doing three double crochets. So hold that chain on your hook, wrap your yarn, and just into the chain space, the first loop, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Into the next chain, the next loop, we are going to be wrapping our yarn twice. We're going to do treble crochets. So into the next chain 15 loop, three treble crochets. One. Two. And three. A chain two. One, two. Wrap your yarn twice again, and three more treble crochets into the same chain space, into the same big loop. One, two, and three. So it looks like that so far. Wrap your yarn once, and into your next loop, your next chain 15 space, three double crochets. One, two, and three. So now we're just building our loops back into a row. 
just like that. So we're gonna repeat this into each set of three loops all the way across, not doing anything in between. So from this first set of three loops, I'm just going to wrap my yarn once, jump over to my next loop, and three double crochets into the next loop. Wrap your yarn twice into the center loop, three treble crochets, chain two, and three treble crochets. There's my first three trebles, chain two, and my last three trebles into the same center loop, the center of the three loops. Looking like that, now we're gonna do our last loop of this set. So nothing in between, just wrap your yarn once and three double crochets into the last loop of that set of three. It looks like this so far, so we're just gonna keep going. So we're just working into these loops all the way along. Three doubles, three trebles, chain two, three trebles, three doubles. All the way along, nothing in between our sets, and I'll meet you at the end of this row. You wanna go along and make sure you have three loops for each uh, chain two spot. Sometimes you might have four, you might have two. Just make sure you have three for each of them before going on to the next step. So to finish this row, we're going to chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And we're gonna find the third chain up. We can just count these Vs. There's one, two, and three. We're gonna go into the third chain up. So just hold that loop on your hook, push your hook into the third chain. That is the height of your double crochet. And we're gonna slip stitch. So bring your yarn back, turn your hook, bring your yarn through. So there's our slip stitch. And chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So this is the end of our row and it matches the other side. So turn your work. We're gonna be joining our yarn, not into our first double crochet, but into that chain right before it. Put your hook into that last chain or the first chain before your doubles. So not into your doubles, but into your chain. Loop of your new yarn on your hook, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Bring that yarn through, slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, we'll have to sew that in later. And chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. If you joined your yarn in a different way, you're gonna wanna do a chain six. Wrap your yarn twice and go into your, the chain two space at the very tip. So we're skipping these doubles. We're going right into the center of those triples. And we are going to be doing three treble crochets. So that's our first treble crochet. Here is our second and our third. chain two, one, and two. Wrap your yarn twice and three more treble crochets into the very same spot. So it looks like that so far. Chain three, one, two, and three. And now in between our double crochets. So we're skipping the trebles and then we have two sets of the doubles. We're gonna make a double crochet right into this space. So hold that loop on your hook, wrap your yarn, one double crochet into that big space, just like that. So in between those sets of doubles. Chain three, one, two, three. Wrap your yarn twice. Look for your next big chain two space. And we're gonna be making three treble crochets, chain two and three treble crochets into that big space. So it's looking like this. I'm gonna do this bit again. So chain three, one, two, three. Look for those two sets of double crochets together. They're a lot shorter than your trebles. So we're gonna be working right into that space. Wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the space between your double crochet sets, just into there. Chain three, 
into the chain two space, three treble crochets, chain two and three treble crochets. Chain three, double crochet into the space between those sets of doubles down below. Chain three, look for your chain two space and do your three trebles, chain two, three trebles. So continue doing this all the way along this row. Don't worry how wobbly it looks, it'll all pull out when it is finished. So keep going, I'll meet you at the end of this row. When you finish this row, it's kind of going to totally look messy, or it might look messy like mine. So what you want to do is just kind of hold down the center of those uh, chains and just kind of give your last row a little tug up. So just give each one of those sets of stitches a little pull and that'll even it right out on the chain and get everything looking like it is supposed to. So now at the end of the row, we are going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and turn our work. So hold that loop on your hook, wrap your yarn twice, and go into that chain two space. We are going to make three treble crochets, a chain two, and three treble crochets. So there's our first treble. Second, and third, chain two, wrap your yarn twice, and into the same space, three more treble crochets. So pretty much what we were doing in the last row for this big shell. Just like that. Chain three, one, two, three. And now in between these double crochets, so we're doing shells into the big spaces, and in between the doubles, right into the space, one double crochet, just into the space. Double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. And now we're gonna do another set of three treble crochets, chain two, and three treble crochets into this chain two space. So wrap your yarn twice and three treble crochets, chain two, three treble crochets, all into the same space. So now we're gonna do this bit in the middle again. So chain three, one, two, and three. Find that spot in between your pairs of double crochets, just down here, in between there. So wrap your yarn, one double crochet just into that big space. Like that. Chain three, one, two, three. And a nice big shell, three treble crochets, chain two and three treble crochets. So you're gonna continue like this all the way along your row and I'll meet you when we get to the end. I finished my last shell of three treble crochets, chain two, three treble crochets, and I've done my chain three. So now we are just going to make one double crochet into this very last stitch. Right over here. Where can I get it on my hook? There we go. Two loops of this last stitch onto my hook. So right into that last stitch, double crochet to finish off our nice edge, and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn your work. And now we're just gonna be working into these nice spots and into the double crochet down below. So wrap your yarn twice, straight in to the center of that shell, into the chain two space and make three treble crochets. One, two, three, chain two, three more treble crochets into the same spot, like that, chain two, one, two, slide those stitches back and three more treble crochets. So we're gonna do a total of nine treble crochets into each of these spaces for this last row of our border. There's my last one. So for this row, it's going to look like this. Just 
three treble crochets, chain two, three treble crochets, chain two, and three treble crochets. Chain three, one, two, three. Look down below for your double crochet, this stick right in the middle there. Wrap your yarn and go right into the top of that stitch. Two loops on your hook and one double crochet. So the double crochet gets a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. And now do your shell three treble crochets, chain two, three treble crochets, chain two, and three treble crochets into the next chain two space. There is our second shell, three treble crochets, chain two, three treble crochets, chain two, three treble crochets. Now we're gonna do this middle bit again, chain three, double crochet into the double crochet, chain three, and we'll start another shell. Chain three, one, two, three, find that double crochet in the middle. If you're wondering where to go, if you just kind of pull at your chain, you'll see that little triangle open up right there. So we're just going to go straight into that stitch and make a double crochet like that. Chain three, one, two, three, and now make your shell. Three treble crochets, chain two, three treble crochets, chain two, and three treble crochets. And then keep going along your row, just repeating this until you get to the end of the row. So at the end of this row, just go back and make sure you put in three shells everywhere. I have made mistakes in the past where I've just put in two because we're so used to doing just the two shells in the other rows. So just go back and make sure you have your three everywhere and then we can finish off. So I've done my last shell and my chain three and now I'm just going to make a double crochet into the third chain up. So we're just gonna count our V's down here. So there's one, two, and three. I'm just gonna go right into this stitch. So wrap your yarn and into the third chain up. Make one double crochet just to finish off our shawl. Like that, and there's our nice edge. Chain one, cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through, snug that down, sew in your tails, and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Love to see yours, how yours turned out and what yarn you used. You can find me on Facebook, The Secret Yarnery. Also, we have a great group over there, The Secret Yarnery Crochet Community. Great place to post pictures, or you can tag me on Instagram. Love to see what yarn you chose to make yours in. And thanks so much for inviting me over. Have a great day and stay hooked. Isn't that awesome though? What? So yes, you know what the problem is? I don't have any purple clothes. I have sweatpants. <laughs> I have this dress. And I'm actually looking for purple t-shirts now. Just so I can wear this shawl. It's so great. Look at that. I love it.